hello and welcome back finally going to get my kiwi plant planted out today if you remember uh, i bought it quite a while ago and it has been sitting in the pot in the greenhouse because i didn't know where to put it um but what we're going to do is i've got um an archway that i'm going to put up and we're going to grow it over the arch in a very sunny position normally it's not actually sunny today um, we've actually had it rained quite heavy yesterday not for very long but it was something so that's good i've also got a little helper on the plot today well, i say helper not sure he's going to help much but uh yeah he's come to have a little potter around i'll show you hey so this is brady he's come to help today haven't you brady are you going to help? He doesn't often come here, but um, I know I thought it would be a bit quieter today um, and we're not going to be here for as long. So he's had a little walk and now we're just letting him have a little potter about. Gate shut. So he can't go anywhere. Right, before we put up the arch, we're actually going to um, harvest some more potatoes. Uh, because I made a bit of a mistake with the ones that I harvested before. I left them in the garden in direct sun and they almost it was as if they almost burnt. Um, so they weren't very good. So that was a, a rookie mistake there. So I won't be doing that again. I will be putting them in a cool, dry place and storing them correctly. So we're going to harvest some more and see what we've got. What ones are these ones? Charlotte's. Charlotte's. Because I want to put the soil on the, on the bed. Yeah, oh, a couple. Ants nest. Of course, it's the one underneath. It's got flying ants uh, in there as well. Uh, Brady, off Oi. bed. Off. Oi. off, off. Good boy. So what we're going to be doing? I don't know if Brady's in. Come here, Brady. In there or Brady. not? Brady. <laughs> I told you he wasn't going to be Brady. much help. Um, so we're just going to use this old compost and we're going to put it on, we use it just to put on some of the other beds ready for, um, I say ready for next year, actually we're going to put some seeds into this one straight away. So we're going to use this compost and um, spread it out. It will still have some nutrients in it, not loads, but it will get mixed in with the stuff that's already here. <laughs> uh, this is a, a bed. Ready? Ready. Come. Come. Off. Off. Right, stay there. Right, stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Brady, here. Put that there. Move, right? <laughs> what are you doing? Right, right, Brady. You're in the way. Right, right, Brady. <laughs> Which bit has come out the way, Brady? Don't you understand? Come. Here. Right. Stay there. So we've got um, these two arches that we've got from uh, Amazon and they're the ones we've used before. Is that one and that's one? Yeah. There's two. Yeah, I told you I've got two. No. Um, we've got them bef already on the plot and they do quite well so we bought another couple um, and we're going to grow the kiwi over these 
or over one and then the other one I'm not sure what we're going to do with yet or where we're going to put it. So swift, way more lift. Get warm clothes and the railings froze. Get your mind off of winter time. You ain't going nowhere. Ooh, we ride me high. Tomorrow's the day. I've just um just taken Brady home because we have a, a lot of red ants on our plots. Um and they bite and it actually hurts quite a bit um, and the thing is is they were quite caught um, walking over Brady's feet and they were biting him so he kept kicking out and he was a bit distressed so I've taken him back home um, so he can go and lay on his sofa instead <laughs> We've got these uh, climbing beans in this pot. Um, what we've realised with this and our runner beans that we've not been stringing them up right. So we've been stringing round and round in the hope that they'll weave in and out, but of course they don't. They go round and round the pole, um, which what's happened on the runner beans is, is they've gone loads of them round and round the pole, um, so they haven't, haven't actually flowered as well. So what I'm doing with these climbing beans is I'm just adding in some strings going up and down so then they can grow up up the strings. My pride's gonna come. Whoa, whoa, I said we gonna fly down in my easy chair. So mum's put the kiwi plant in. So as I say, the idea is this now that it will grow over here. Uh, not all this year so we might put some beans for that side because this won't grow up that quickly I don't think but I do need to sort of um maybe start tying it in so that it'll grow up there so I might get some string and just tie that up for now So now that we've put some soil onto this bed, we've got some seeds we're going to put straight in. So we're not putting, these are all wet now. We're going to put some more turnips in, uh, some more radish and some more spring onions uh, and maybe some perpetual spinach. That, that spinach is going to go in a pot somewhere more sort of shady because I find that when it's in direct sun, it just bolts too easily. So we're going to put some of these in this bed and maybe just a few in this bed as well and then over here I've got some tomatoes that won't they won't be there much longer because the tomatoes are nearly done I'm just going to put some I've got some chamomile that I'm just going to plant around there and then hopefully that will just keep coming back next year and the year after and forever um, and because I've got my calendula that come up behind there as well so it'd be quite nice together
So in this bed we've put two rows of turnips, I think one's snowball and one's, I can't remember the type but it's like the ready one and then we'll just put a row of um, carrots, uh, so these are Amsterdam free I think, Sprint, so we're just going to put a row of these in as well and we'll use these for baby carrots. So that's the chamomile just put in between or around just in clumps i've put it out um so it grew in a tray in the greenhouse but it has started to flower which is why i needed to get it out just didn't know where to put it so i've just put it there and as i say there's the odd calendula still coming through but all of this is calendula um that have flowered early um and died down um, but they will self-seed so hopefully calendula and chamomile will self-seed um, then as I say the kiwi and then the turnips and carrots and then over here some spring onions uh, just some radish just because and then I've actually put some spinach just under here don't know how well it's going to do but it is a little bit makes it a little bit more shady which i think it prefers um it just depends if these pumpkins these squashes get any bigger but i'm not sure if they will in that part so we shall see so that's all the jobs done for today i've got a nice um get right up the other end now nice load of charlotte potatoes um that's all I'm picking today because uh, I was here yesterday and I took quite a lot yesterday um, like green gauges let me show you um, I didn't know they were ready until I saw uh, our neighbour of our other plot his children eating them and no one as far as I know has got green gauge trees but that's how I knew they were ready because he was eating them and he wasn't putting a face like they were really sharp so um, but because it sort of hangs over the path, a lot of people just pick them, which is fine as long as they don't eat them all. Save some for us. But um, yeah, they're looking looking good, and they taste really good. And so far, there's been no uh, maggots in any of them. Touch wood. The plums. We didn't think they were ready, but I tried one. They're actually really, really sweet and lovely. They're just very, very small on this tree this year. I'm sure they didn't, they weren't this small last year, but I do wonder if it's where it's just been so dry. Um, but there's lots of plums, lots of green gauges. So we're very, very pleased with that. Just need to eat them. Um, and I'm gonna make some like crumbles with them as well. Um, so that's the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next one.